This is the brand new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado and here are the big changes over the previous generation. Here's what hasn't changed. It is the 5.3 liter and the 6.2 liter V8s in the Silverado. So the 5.3 still develops 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. The big 6.2 develops 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. There is a new dynamic fuel management system available on the 5.3 and standard on the 6.2. is the 2.7 liter four-cylinder turbo and the legendary three liter straight six Duramax. But those aren't here yet, so let's keep going on what's new on this truck. What you're looking at here is the three-piece steel bed. Lots of changes back here. I'm gonna have the engineer tell you. So my name is Scott Damon. I'm lead development engineer uh, for the new 2019 Silverado. One of my favorite features of the new bed is this, the three anchors in each corner. Each one is good to 500 pounds now, um, but having three of them, if you were to pack stuff in here, you, you don't have to reach down beyond all your gear to get to an anchor. You can you can tie up higher. And then there's there's nine other anchors that, that work throughout that, are, are, uh, that you can add in as well. Something that our engineers did that's really cool is that the inners, the, the fenders and the inners are actually stamped separately now it allowed us to move them over three and a half inches per side something that you wouldn't be able to do with aluminum but by doing it separate we're able to draw that much further and gain so much more width inside the bed so seven inches seven inches yep correct I think that's your favorite three words best yeah. in class best, yeah exactly so the, <laughs> the cargo volume of this uh, and this is our short bed yep. uh, beats our competition's regular beds as far as cargo volume I also know there's a plug correct 110 volt 400 yep. watt yep. Um, plug task lighting inside, bed lighting, you get lighting up there. You actually get a task light back here on the tailgate that can shine onto your hitch. So right here is actually a little light, shines down on your hitch while you're hitching. I think the biggest change in the style for the 2019 Silverado is not the front end that looks like a Camaro. It's not even these cool vents for aero on the side here. It's the wheel wells. GM has used the squared off wheel well design in their half ton trucks forever, for such a long time. 2019, look how round that is. All right, let's talk about the fact that it went on an extreme diet. Yeah, sure, 450 pounds lost out of this truck. So, and how'd you do that? So a couple of things. So first of all, we used our mixed material strategy throughout the truck. So our swing metal, so our doors, our tailgate, our hood, all aluminum. But we kept steel, high strength steels where it's needed. So the bed, inners, the, the roll form steel bed is actually higher tensile strength than our previous truck. So um, keeping the steel where you need the steel, and using mixed materials elsewhere where we can get away with lighter materials. So anything with a hinge basically Correct. is aluminum. Yep, anything with a hinge is aluminum. So you can replace it easily. That's the idea, right? So if, you, if something did happen, you just replace the door rather than trying to repair aluminum. That's kind of the idea. One thing that is new is the remote unlocking tailgate and remote lowering tailgate as well. Check it out right here. I just push this button. You can hear it lowering back there. On certain trims, you can actually also raise it. Up with the knee. Does it work from the cab? It should. Let's try it. Go for it. I'm going to drop it here and you see if you can lift it from the cab. All right. Hold on. It's still coming down. All right. Hit the button, Tommy. You mean you can close it from inside the cab? Yeah. It's a push and hold of the tailgate drop button. Cool. But lift to close, so you can kind of just put your knee on it, lift it a little bit, it'll take over and close on its own. 
You can close it with the button or you can close it with a key fob as well. But I've heard that if the battery's dead, the tailgate is stuck. So the tailgate's stuck. So, you know, what we would tell our customers is you got to get under the hood and put a jumper on and get the battery going so that you can get, you know, get the truck back alive. So let's talk about, of course, you've had this in the last year, yeah. but this looks bigger now. It is bigger. So a lot of the feedback from our customers was getting a, a steel toe boot in there and the old version was just not enough. So adding it in, our, our, our uh, lane sensor is also up in, inside there. So it's well protected um, up underneath. So. And I also like the fact that your trailer hookup, right, is right up top here. There's right. no like down here where it can get. Keep, yeah, keep it up out of the road debris, right? right? Is that That's the idea, right? Keep everything up and out of the way, especially since you got cables and wiring plugging in there. What we're concentrating on is making the trailering experience better for the customer. So trailering is often a stressful experience for people. So max tow numbers, there are a lot of people that you know might tow max, max trailers. They might end up getting a 2500 instead of a 1500. The idea behind our new trailering app um, is to make the experience that much better. So overall, being able to connect and understand how to connect, uh, being able to see what you're, what's happening with your trailer inside the cab, the overall trailer experience is better. Z71 here is not new. I'll get to what's new in just a second, but the Z71 package is available across the line on the new Silverado. What it gives you is a four-wheel drive system with a low-range transfer case. It gives you a automatic locking rear differential. It gives you a front and engine oil skid plate. It gives you a all-terrain tire, but you can go even further with the new Silverado. Check it out. What you're looking at here is not just a normal Z71. This is a Z71 Trail Boss. This is the most aggressive off-road truck in the 19 Silverado. The Trail Boss gives you a two-inch lift with extended Rancho shocks. It also gives you red painted tow hooks. It's not really a Raptor fighter. They're not claiming it's a Raptor fighter. The Trail Boss is only available in the 5.3 liter V8 and there's two trims, the Custom and the LT Trail Boss. And in case you're wondering what kind of lift we're dealing with here, it's really a two inch spacer lift. GM is actually gonna offer a two inch spacer lift, very similar to this on other Silverados that you can install at the dealership. Now let's talk about the size. It's actually increased in size, right? Correct. So you've got three more inches in the back, but there's yeah. also more length and a little bit That's more right. width. So overall the truck got about an inch and a half longer. The wheelbase is around four inches longer. We moved the front wheels forward. You notice the hood got quite a bit shorter. So by making the truck an inch and a half longer, we actually gained three inches in the cab, split a little bit between the front seat and the back seat. We gained an inch and a half in the rear. So that one inch, that inch and a half length actually bought us about four inches of, of length. But that rear, that rear leg room in there is just great. You're a tall guy, I'm a tall guy. I mean, it's just like, it's cavernous back here. Look at, look at all that room. And, and you will notice we finally have rear air vents so you don't have to roast in the back seat. The trim options on this new truck can be just completely confusing, but there's really three buckets you need to be aware of. A high value, a high volume, and a high feature bucket as Chevrolet calls them. In the high value, you're looking at the work truck, the custom, and then the custom trail boss. High volume is the LT, the RST, which is behind us, what that is essentially is an LT with painted bumpers, and then the one we were just looking at, the LT trail boss. The very top of the line bucket, the high feature is the LTZ and the high country. Those are the luxury oriented trucks. Yeah, again, our, our eight different uh, trim packages actually allow a truck for every customer. You probably heard that a few times, um, but it's not nice. a customer that wants all the options, but they want chrome, they're getting an LTZ. Customer that wants all the options, but they want color match bumpers, they get a high country. The RST is like an LT, which one's going by there. Um, it's like an LT with painted bumpers, less chrome on it, right? No chrome handles, no chrome on the, on the um, rear view mirrors. There are a bunch of new controls and features on the left side of the steering wheel in the new Silverado. First of all, tow haul is no longer on the shifter stock. It's on its own knob, along with the sport mode. We also have a four wheel drive system that is only electronically selectable on the new Silverado. There's no available lever regardless of the trim. 
So Scott, we're here in an RST with a single speed transfer case four wheel drive system. Correct. And what are we featuring today? Yeah, so we're gonna go over to some gravel over here and show you the terrain mode that comes with the single speed transfer case. And what terrain does is it actually uh, tries to mimic four low on a transfer case that's single speed. Uh, but the really cool thing that I'm gonna show you here in a minute is we're using the brake system, our new e-boost system, to actually control and, and brake the truck every time you let your foot off, off the uh, gas pedal. So you can actually really control the truck and from an off-road standpoint, I think it's gonna be a pretty popular, pretty cool uh, feature. So right now we're in two wheel drive. I'm going to I'm going to put it into 4 high, yep. which is the starting point for uh, terrain mode. So we're in 4 high there. And that's on the fly shift? Yeah, it is. Okay. Correct. Yep. And then right below the 4 high button here on the side is the terrain mode button. We click that and we notice on the dash we get the little terrain mode, but it also turns traction control off. So the main traction control system is off. So in drive, um, notice I let my foot up off the brake and it starts rolling. Um, you know, it kind of works normal like a four high system. But if I go into L, mode, range select, and L1, I have my foot up off the brake right now and there's no creep. So the brakes have engaged and I hit the gas a little bit, right? Notice I'm revving a little bit, right? As soon as I let my foot up off the, the gas pedal, it's bringing the brakes on. If you're going down a two track trail or if you're on some areas that have some rock and things like that, you can really control it because you're not taking the time to transfer your foot from gas to brake. And for the guys that are actually off-roading, this feature is gonna be pretty handy. So like Toyota system though, you can select the speed and then take your foot off the gas completely and have right. it crawl. Will this do the same thing? It will not. This okay. is not that, this is not like that type of system, correct. The engines we're showing you today are, are our new 6.2 and our new 5.3 with dynamic fuel management. Okay. So dynamic fuel management lets us shut any, it's, it's similar to AFM in the fact that we can shut cylinders off, but we can shut any cylinders off basically one through eight. Um, so we gain, we gain performance both you know, from fuel economy, but then also just in general uh, performance taking the truck down the road. And uh, can you run on as little as two cylinders? You can, but you know, the, it takes not a lot towing. of power just to, to move. Yeah, not towing for sure. It takes a lot of power just to move the truck down the road. So likely you don't end up running a lot on those really low uh, fractions, but they're there. So like downhills where it's not enough to go into depth code, diesel cylinder, fuel cylinder cutoff, um, you can actually come down to these really low fractions, right, and, and gain performance. This little sticker here is a really big deal for this new truck because this is the VIN matched trailering information sticker. So this is tied to your exact truck and it gives you your specs such as GVWR, GCWR, max tongue weight, and even your curb weight tied directly to your truck. So what's this one, Tommy? So this one in the Trail Boss configuration with the 5.3 liter V8, this is an LT Trail Boss, we're rated at a maximum tongue rate of 950 pounds, GVWR of 7,000 pounds. So how much can I tow? Well, with a tongue weight of 950 pounds, if that's 10%, we're looking at like a 9,500 pound towing limit on this particular model. Maximum towing is accomplished with a 6.2 liter V8, and if you get the correct trim, it can tow up to 12,200 pounds, which is not class leading. <laughs> Obviously, we just talked earlier about the 450 pounds lost out of the truck. Yeah. So you think about 450 pounds lost, it's actually a big compromise and a lot of work that has to be done to also make a truck quiet. Because normally when you make something quieter, you're adding weight, you're adding some kind of deadener, you're adding some kind of soundproofing. So our engineers had to come up with a lot of new tech and new concepts to make it quieter. So one of the areas we actually integrated the rear seat uh, with the soundproofing. So now there's no mat on the rear of the cab to make it soundproof. So we did a lot of work inside with front of dash sealing, with wind noise sealing, to make sure this was the quietest truck on the road. Um, but uh, otherwise, from a ride standpoint, you know, all new suspension tuning, having front end integrated sheet metal, which you guys saw maybe in the tent the other night, um, makes the body a lot stiffer, which allows us to really concentrate on the tuning for the ride quality uh, versus, you know, having to deal with a little bit of flex, so. In this Trail Boss spec here, we actually have a really cool wheel and tire combo. It's an 18 inch black painted wheel with a Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tire. There's also a 20 inch wheel available on the Trail Boss, 
but you don't get these cool tires. Here's my softball question. Sure. What's your new fe What's your favorite feature of the new truck? For me, yeah. I use I use my truck as a truck. It's the bed. Okay. It's the bed. It's the tie downs. It's the it's the extra space inside. We, I actually have a an assigned truck, right? Yeah. And I actually put gravel in the back. I probably put way more than I was supposed to because you have all that extra space in there, right? That I think it's the bed for me, um, just because I, I often use my truck as a truck. So you get lane departure warning, uh, blind spot monitoring. You got active lane keep, collision imminent braking, park sensors front and rear. Uh, you know, not on all trucks, but on some. And we actually can put these all the way down to work truck now because a lot of our fleet customers want that. So then people aren't bumping into posts and things like that. But front and rear park sensors as well. And how about um, <coughs> have you crashed this today yet? You know? If oh gosh, they, oh yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if they've actually right. released the numbers yet, but uh, we crash these. You know, not on on purpose. We crash them. Let's say right, right. Uh, a lot, a lot. So a lot of our customers Customers, you know, we get a lot of feedback, and they, they actually liked the layout of the interior a lot. So, it, obviously, it's all brand new, but it's got a similar feel to the the current generation truck, and that's all because our customers said they loved it already. So, why you know why tear it all apart and change it? Obviously, new infotainment, a lot of new features, HVAC improvements. Um, you know, you've got vents in the back finally. Vents in the back, yeah. Finally is <laughs> finally is probably the right word. Vents in the back, which is great. You know, you got all that extra room back there now, so you need more air. So yeah. Uh, dual uh, glove boxes. Dual glove boxes, yeah. right? Yeah. Giving some space. Silverado starts at just under $30,000 and the top of the line high country with a 6.2 liter starts at about $55,000. They are available in dealerships starting right now. As always, this is Tommy with the Fastlane Truck. Thank you so much for watching our 2019 Silverado coverage. Be sure to check out tfltruck.com for your latest in all the new truck news and reviews.